Hello, welcome to the reading room. It's City V here. Um, today we're going to do a pick a card question. It's going to be on how successful will your studies be? Will your studies be rewarding? Okay, so time stamp down below. Take your time, choose your group, enjoy your reading, and I'll see you there. Hello, group one. So let's find out. Oh, we have the white stag, the protector. Well, you know, this represents uh, experience. It represents wisdom. Uh, it's an old soul. So you are someone that's going to go through life living your experiences, not just uh, going through them. You follow your intuition. It says here, awaken to the powerful force within you. And that is something that's going to happen. That's how you gain your experience. And also it says you are meant to create blessings with your magic. You have a soul purpose. You have uh, a journey or a path that you're meant to do. You have a, a life purpose. That's the word I was searching for. You're definitely someone who has a strong presence. And if you don't, you will. People are going to listen. They're going to see you and know that they're going to have uh, what they're expecting and more. They're going to count on you. They're going to believe in you. So there's a lot of good when it comes to who you are and how you present yourself as you go along in your studies and in your life, gaining your experiences. This is pretty deep, I know. It's a pretty good deep start. But the thing about it is, and there's always a but, it's that you doubt yourself. You really doubt yourself and you're afraid to put yourself out there. And, of course, for those who are not, and, you know, take what resonates, I guess, what I'm trying to say. But it's also, if you're afraid of something, really uh, figure it out. Like, what is it that's bothering you from continuing? What stops you? What blocks you? Like, you need to figure that out because it's a core issue. It's something inside of you. It's almost like, um, well... If you want to get anywhere in life, you have to get out of your comfort zone. And to get out of your comfort zone, you have to face your fear. So that's the issue. That's your doubt. So once you have that uh, figured out, I think things will sort of flow in the right direction. And here at home, oh my goodness, well there, it just um, goes even deeper. What is it that you... Uh, love like what is it that you want what is it what are you all about what are your um, core uh, self you know like what do you believe in <laughs> what you know get to know that get to know about your studies like what is it really that you um, feel that fits with you so maybe uh, t you know take time out and and write a list of the pros and cons or what you like, what you don't like. I mean, do some homework on on figuring out who you are when it comes to your passion or your uh, purpose for your life. Like, you know, it's, it's you're at the at, in your studies and you're at a start of something great. But the level of where you're going to go depends on how much homework you do at this moment. And that is. Uh, figuring out what is you're afraid of, figuring out what is it that you really uh, would like to have in your career or your success, and also um, what what is it that you uh, value or what is important to you or what you want to see in your core values as you move up, you know. As you so your studies have to reflect that it seems to be very important for you to succeed that is but don't worry we'll get more into it <laughs> we'll help you out along the way here this is a guidance reading I guess so yeah it says uh, follow your intuition but follow it by action so that's something that needs to be done and that's uh really where you're at right now actually So um, I'm going to take these 
but I'm also taking these ones first. So this is, um, yeah, you have a lot of knowledge already. There's a lot of information that you hold and you're, you know what to do with it. You know how to present it. You know how to work it. You know how to go. The stress is something that holds you, um, blocks your thinking or putting out your thinking. So the planning part, the knowledge part, you have it all and you know what to do. But when it comes to the action, you sort of get stuck. Yeah, you are someone that uh, has a lot of good ideas that needs to be put out for sure. I mean, you're full of knowledge. You're full of uh, uh, exactly, you have to believe in yourself. Like, you have everything you need. But um, I guess what it's saying is that just act on it. Like, don't hesitate so much. Like, you don't need to hesitate. Just do it. That's what's going to help you is, again, leaving your comfort zone and just do it, even if you are worried. There's something about that you need to perfect things or you need to make sure that it's exactly right or um, make sure that it's not stupid or you're going to be a fool of or there's something, you know. And um, But in reality, no, if you just go ahead and do it because you have to believe that what you have is really worth it and if you believe in yourself, it's going to come out that way, you know? I'm going to pull out some words to help you out. Okay. It says analytical. Visionary. Honest. Committed, accomplished. So place them how they fit with your life and how you resonate with them. Okay, so we're going to go to the future. Success. How successful your studies be? Let's answer that question. Following the advice, that is, you know, doing, changing up what you need to change up. <laughs> Looks very good. Um, it says here that uh, your intuition is right on and you're definitely going to be able to execute what you're thinking at the right time, at the right moments, and you are going to put your judgment out there and you are going to be judged, but it seems like it's in a good light, but I'm going to pull on the card because we need another card to find out more about this judgment. It's a give and take. The more you put in, the more you receive. You're being judged on, on your actions. And it's going to be, uh, every time you do something, you'll get benefits from it. It's so rewarding. Very rewarding. Mm, yeah, you have no doubt you'll be very successful. But you have to follow your intuition. Follow, Believe in yourself and follow what you um, want to do. Put yourself out there. Conquer your fear. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull out some IMs for you. It says, I am fully aware of my potential and my capacity. And exactly. Put those someplace where you can see them. <laughs> I am on top of the world. I am the hero of my own story. Is there two there? Yes, there is. I am attracting positivity in my life. And that's something nice. So I would place them someplace where you can read them, you know? Just a little reminder. It says you have everything within you. Hello, group two. Let's see what's going on here. So we have the fox, a clever fox. So this represents you. And it says that you're swift and smart. You find solutions to the problems easy enough. 
and you listen to your instincts, you're resourceful. And it also says that uh, love your studies, love what you're doing, um, enjoy it, embrace it. You know, you have a solid foundation, and abundance is uh, on its way for sure for you. But let's find out why. Uh, what's the problem, or what you need to know if there's a problem, and then we'll get right into the reading. Because it looks like you have a heavy uh, study load. Or you have a long journey ahead of you, you have um, years to go, or you maybe are at the end and you're feeling like it's heavy. Something about uh, an amount that you're carrying in some way. But one of the cards that you're receiving is strategy. And strategy is all about uh, brainstorming. It's all about uh, deciding what you want and then getting the advice needed to go through. So it's not complicated. It's just a matter of uh, um, deciding and then getting the directions to go and how to go about it and actually ask people that are involved in that study or that have been successful. Um, yeah, do a little bit of research for that. Be courageous because you're at the point right now where you're at a place where you need, you need to decide. You may need to make the decision. And if you're not there, you will be. And it has to do with your progress, like how are you going to progress, like, uh, you know, how are you going to develop your skills or your your path and of your studies, like uh, the growth, the direction. It's all about direction and deciding exactly what you want. So that's something you have to figure out. But um, brainstorming the ideas and the advice seems to be huge. That'll help you a lot. So let's find out some more information. Okay, so I feel that, like I said, right here, I was talking about uh, having a decision to make, but also enjoy your, really enjoy it. Like, just throw yourself in, like, uh, open up to the possibilities and what you're doing. Like, just don't go through it. Like, um, find your spark or your passion about what exactly are you studying about? Like, what are you learning? Like, is it interesting? If not, then make it interesting, you know? That's going to help a lot. Also, your opportunities to put yourself out there. Believe in your opportunities. Believe in your future. Believe in yourself in the future. So that's something that is saying. That's where you're at right now. That That's the homework that they're giving you, all of this, you know. So let's move on and find out uh, more about uh, what can you do about this strategy. Mm. So here on your... Um, on your strategy, more information on that, and that is open up, like I said, open right up to the way things work. Like, don't go against the flow, work with it. So if uh, something is being asked of you, and you're wondering, hmm, should, do I really want to do that? No, instead, take the attitude, well, okay, this is what I need to do. Go with the flow and find the enjoyment in it. Find out what is uh, good about that? What is not good about it? It doesn't matter which direction you take it, uh, as long as you see it for what it is, you know? And support it. Support your opportunities. Support uh, what's given to you in a way that you know for later it's going to help you a lot. For later, it's going to open up doors. So take a positive attitude and throw yourself in with the flow and make it the uh, the best of what you can do with that, you know? You don't always have to agree with the, the study or the direction that the studies is going in, but you can adjust it to the fact that uh, you learn what benefits you for later, you know? What's coming up? And then we'll find out about how successful and rewarding it's going to be. Oh, yeah, I want to hear it. Oh. Okay, so they want to come out. So 
Um, here you have a tower moment. You have there's okay. I'm gonna slow down because I picked up all the messages at once, you know. But here, it's like everything goes well. You have you have moments of really, wow, I'm getting this. Wow, this is interesting. Wow, I enjoy that. And then you have setbacks. Poof, too much work. Things are are uh, you're not seeing what's happening. You're not seeing where it's going. You're not seeing clear. Um, is it the Oh my jeez, I'm receiving so many messages that I have to slow down. Are you succeeding in what you're doing? So all this uh, thoughts that uh, sort of goes into you, you know, it's not something that life is throwing at you. It's the heavy workload that you have doubting or wondering or questioning because that it, it has this moment and then it starts all over again so you'll be going through that a lot enjoying it fully believing in yourself going uh, in a good flow and then bang <laughs> chaos <laughs> ah can't handle it then back to going to the good flow and you know it sometimes it's going to take teamwork or many or different steps to get through it um figuring out uh, the help that you can go and ask for. Sometimes you're going to have to just keep going and other times you have to kind of like go in the cautious um, and stop and think about it, and, you know. So it's going to be quite the up and down for a while anyway. It's, uh, I don't know if you're having a complications with this study. It's a hard at moments, um, challenging but uh, definitely, anyway, it's going to be the norm. <laughs> okay, let's pick some words that go with that. Would go with uh, helping you along the way. Take it as it resonates. And then, like I said, then we'll read some more here for sure. It says focus, be observant, create. Decisive, decisive, cheerful, thoughtful, multitask, self-reliant. So they're the words for you to uh, place that in different moments, I, I would uh, think. All right, so I'm going to now go see how successful you're going to be. And... How, how rewarding it's going to be. Okay. <laughs> you have uh, definitely... You're not going to feel like it's very successful. You're not going to feel like it's very rewarding. You're... you're uh, feel like it's an uphill battle that um, you hold a lot in and it's stressful and you don't see w the possibilities and you're always uh, working things out and fighting and so you're how successful you will be um, I don't feel like you feel that you have enough or that the study ends here or that it even um, gives you what you're hoping for so for yourself um this doesn't end here this study is not completing you uh not rewarding you the way you want you want way more you're so ambitious and you want to keep moving so after the studies honestly um that the hard work you put in it for some people it might be satisfying but for you no you need to move on and also like yeah you have so much potential ideas like you are someone that's uh going to go to a higher levels even higher than you expect and you're going to have exactly what you want and you're going to sit in it in a way that is all in comfort and um you're definitely someone who's going to accomplish a lot um, here you have the jade and it's the abundance and all the hard work pays off in a huge way. So, yeah, you, you, uh, 
are going to have way more than you um, expect with the studies. You're going to go on to farther uh, potentials. You may not study again. You may just climb, you know, because you don't feel satisfied here at all. Like for you, there's more to do. There's like, this is not bringing you where you want, you know, but it is something that you uh, will need for sure. And you're, you're just too ambitious and you're going to continue doing but I'm telling you, you're going to be exactly where you want to go. You're going to feel very rewarded for your efforts and what you put in. There's no regrets. And you are, I want to say you are the boss. <laughs> you are a boss. So, you know, boss of your own life, boss of your career, boss of uh, of uh, your trade or your studies. or So you really go far. You climb to where you expect to climb. I'm going to pull some IMs for you. Oh, they all come out. I'm going to say them all. Take the ones that resonate. I feel like there's a different sets for different people and maybe they all resonate. Let's see. It says, I am safe. I am content no matter what happens in my life. Oh, I am open to happiness. So they look like there's things that you should remind yourself as you go through this hard study. I am aware that I can do fabulous things. I am a good listener. I am a leader. I am healthy and free of pain. Yeah, so I would definitely write them and put them on your board wherever, you know, just for a little reminder to keep yourself going here. And I'm going to pick a message for you here. It says, which is worse, feeling or never trying? Hello, group three. So let's find out what's going on here. Oh, you have the hump whale. The singing, healing songs of the world. So navigate yourself, guide yourself with your positivity. It says nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align your purpose and the power of your soul. So you have uh, ways to go. Also, it feels like your journey is going to be a happy one. Fulfilling and, you know, really feel great as you go. So, um... Yeah, what is the issue? What is the problem, if there's any, and where you're headed? And then we're going to find out about uh, the rest for sure. You know, are you going to be successful? How successful? And how rewarding it's going to be? So you have uh, speed. So now it's time for action. It's time to get going. No more thinking about anything. Just do it. <laughs> but you also have the void. And... Um, with the strategy and that really um, means that it's time for you to figure out uh, where you're going it's time to get going you know it's not um, about what you're doing so much as it is about what you're holding on to so let go of some negativities let go of what holds you back let go of what you don't need or what doesn't serve you because now you're at a place where let by letting all that go it brings in all the good possibilities you know so the positivity is here and that's how you fulfill your destiny is by being happy and positive but to do so you need to let go of all this negativity and you need to do it now so your wish is coming up by the way you're actually working towards your wish so you're in the right direction you're on the right way but to move along and get through it a lot easier and faster is uh, positivity. So, oh, it's flying right out there. It's time. It's the, the time card. Yeah, this all reverse, of course. It's the time card. And your journey is uh, headed in the right direction. It's almost there. Or you figured out your, your way and you don't have much to go now. So it's almost like uh, this is going to happen pretty fast. It's going to be completed pretty fast or it's going to, the time is just going to fly if you have a lot to do. You know, you found your happiness. Oops, sorry, the cards, your wish. 
you wish. Yeah, you're manifesting what you want. You are in, uh, I can't say it more, in the right way, right direction, right studies. Yeah, found your niche, you found your thing, you know. Okay, let's move on to, let's find out more about this speed, this uh, void. Let's uh, find out um, some advice maybe for it. And then we'll move on to your success and your studies and your rewards. Or how rewarding it's going to be. I feel like this one and I feel like this one so I'll pick them all so here it says that uh, yeah you have choices and how you handle your choices is really important yeah how you handle yourself how you carry yourself you know and your dream let yourself dream let you keep dreaming like how you handle yourself is going to be um, important it's going to Put everything together it's almost like the more you dream about your future the more you allow yourself to dream about it the more um, you succeed and the more how you choose to go about it affects how it happens right and so how do you want to carry your way through you know dreaming is the best way being positive is the best way you know, that's what it's saying. So that's the advice. Uh, put yourself in a good mindset and everything will follow that way. You see, hold on to that negativity. Your your work is going to be a bit heavier, you know, a little harder. So that's up to you how you take your studies. So let's find out about uh, where you're headed and where you're ending. Well, there you go. Here's your happiness. Uh, here's you going along, doing great. You you just, you don't hesitate. You go for what you want. You're working good. You're doing good. And things are good. And then, uh, you know, life keeps going. One thing ends, another one starts. Um, you complete a lot of what your, your goals. Um, not a lot. Actually, you complete them all. You complete one at a time or, or all your goals eventually get uh, accomplished and then continues to open up more uh, also uh, learning to let go of what uh, doesn't serve you this again comes up it has to do with the void in your strategy and that is ongoing so often there will be disappointments or often there will be things that uh, hold on to you or nag you or bring you down and you have to learn how to let that go you have to learn to stop resisting to move forward you have to open yourself up release what doesn't serve you so um, you're a person that holds on to things um, and they set and they put barriers on you so that is something that you will learn as you go and it's something that you will have to work on quite a bit actually because you're someone that feels and you have huge feelings and um, you have to learn how to Use them for positivities, and when they bring you down, figure out how to let go of them, you know. And that's something that you're going to have to keep going because to be successful, you have to manage that. There's a balance there. Be happy, be positive, you know. So I'm going to pull up about your success. Where does it lead you? How rewarding are your studies? This one too. Ooh. What is this? Okay. So you have a uh, something being said to you here. So I picked that uh, you're going to do really good. 
you're going to love what you're doing, and you're going to obtain your wish. So on your studies and success, things go well. And then you have this right here, which is uh, putting yourself out there. Um, <laughs> well, it says here, it, it gives you a little warning. If, like, this is really good and you're going to get your wish. But after you received your wish and your studies, what it says is that there's so much to put out there. Like, you have lots to do and lots of opportunities. But uh, where you're going is very, um, competition is, is uh, strong. Lots of competition. It's challenging. You know, so you have to put yourself out there. And one of the ways to succeed, right, is choosing your opportunities. Hold back, hold back on your jealousies. Hold back on your, on uh, any negativities. Because um, you have all the choices in front of you and you're going to accomplish lots. So... Um, yeah, don't don't let uh, your negativity hold you back from completing and having your choices, you know? Hold back on that. Wow, it really um, gives you a little warning here to to have to have all your success and to have more opportunities when in this heavy competition in this uh place where you have to put your ideas out with a lot more of the challenges that come up is to hold on to that negativity tuck it away <laughs> don't let it go out that's what it's saying to you okay so I'm going to pull out some IMs and hopefully you can uh, have something positive to Oh, this one and this one, I feel. Okay, so this one says, I am adaptable. It says, I am full of confidence, self-love, and it feels amazing. I am determined. And this one too. Oh, there's these ones. Okay. I am someone who forgives themselves. I am coming on strong. I am right on cloud nine. Yeah, so you have a lot of good, so you should uh, really concentrate on those. And one more message for you. Every day, fill your day with hope, love, energy, and sunshine. Okay, I just um, forgot to pull out your words while I was doing your reading and I just wanted to fit them in. So I just placed your cards back um, like the main ones. So I'm going to do that right now. Sorry. And just a little pause. Insight. Accomplish. Result driven. Quick learner. Mediator, responsible, and these uh, may trigger something for you. You may it may resonate for you at some point. 